So Adam Sandler's back with another Netflix movie called Hoobies Halloween. <laughs> and it's actually not terrible. It's pretty alright. So we're going to talk about it. So Hoobies Halloween currently streaming on Netflix is another Adam Sandler joint. Of course, which Adam Sandler stars a main character named Hoobie, who is kind of like the town clown, and he's in he lives in Salem, and it's Halloween time. And if you know Salem, Salem's a pretty big destination for tourists during Halloween time because you know the uh, the witch trials and all that hoopla. Hoobie has this wild conspiracy theory that something's going wrong on Halloween night. He has a theory that something big is going to happen and he's the one that has to protect it. Or he's the one who has to protect Salem and stop whatever's going to happen. And it goes from there. Yeah, I found myself laughing at this quite a bit. More than I thought I would. I kept thinking to myself, Hubi, Hubi, acts a lot like Nikki from Little Nikki and then I realized it's from the same director and then it clicked but yeah Adam Sandler he has a shtick he has a character that he goes to quite often a character like like this it's fine we all know he can act extremely well when he uh, chooses to and this stars the standard Adam Sandler Groupies, I guess you want to call them, like Steve Buscemi, Rob Schneider, uh, Kevin James, they're all in this. And this seemingly confirms that Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, and this all take place in the same universe, which is pretty legit and pretty cool. Not all the humor lands in this, a lot of it for me didn't. I could be see myself like being like an old man and having like like someone young watching it and me going like you know that's Adam Sandler when I was a kid he was the funniest man on the planet because I grew up loving his stuff I I grew up with with like Little Nicky uh, Happy Gilmore Billy Madison Wedding Singer all all the classics and yeah he still makes me chuckle. Adam Sandler still has that 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 charm to him. The performances are all good in this. Some are a little goofy, but I I think they're supposed to be a little goofy. And I love any film set during Halloween because that just increases like set design and props and practical effects and all that good stuff. And this is the first movie I've watched. This. October that actually like you know like this is getting me into the Halloween spirit so two big thumbs up for that is there bad things about it absolutely like I said earlier not all the humor lands it's it's not always the best but there are, there is some really good snappy dialogue so don't discount the dialogue there is some snappy funny moments <laughs> Um, the story is like kind of generic with two really funny twists that I kind of dug. And it's just if you've seen an Adam Sandler movie, especially his like recent stuff outside of like Uncut Gems, you know what he's getting, you know what you're getting into, like you know the type of movie you're gonna get. It's a charming movie with a good message, with strong themes that just makes you feel good inside. And that's what most Adam Sandler movies do. It's like, I can't really knock the guy for making a heartfelt movie. So, Hubie's Halloween, is it good? Uh, it has its really good moments. Is it the worst Adam Sandler movie? Absolutely not. Is it the worst movie this year? Absolutely not. Is it the worst movie Netflix has made? Absolutely not. Because they made some real grade A 1 out of 10 stinkers. But for the most part, 
I enjoyed myself, and that's what you watch movies for, to have fun and just enjoy yourself. So, be good people, be safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, and uh, thanks for watching.